car parts made in India destined for factories in the US. Sounds pretty simple, but we're going to find out what that journey is like in reality. The products are loaded into containers, ready to be driven 2,300 kilometers to the port for shipping. And this is the route across India the lorry will take. So far, so good. But here's the problem. The journey goes across six separate states. Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. And at each state border, you'll find checkpoints like this. It's here that individual states levy taxes on goods that move across their boundaries. And the owner of the car parts business says this makes it uncompetitive in the global market. At the moment, uh, if I look at exports, the goods leave my factory here, they, uh, the freight I pay from here to Mumbai is probably higher than the freight I pay from Mumbai to the US or to Europe. So I mean like uh, now you can imagine why, where uh, we are suffering. But it's not just about the cost. This is how two-thirds of India's freight travels, by road on trucks like this. It's a long and arduous journey, but it's estimated that only 40% of the time taken is spent on driving. The rest is spent on state border checkpoints, paying various government levies and dealing with paperwork that vary from state to state. Bringing in the goods and services tax or GST, a unified tax to simplify transactions, should make a real difference. And not just getting trucks over borders more quickly. Today, firms often have small warehouses in many states to try and minimize the taxes they pay. Clearly, something like GST is a game changer for the country. It should and it will help in seamless movement of uh, cargo. It should make India into a free market as, as what is desired. Four days after the lorry left the factory in Haryana, the car parts are now approaching Chennai. The GST plans that would speed things up and perhaps make firms more competitive are still caught in the logjam of India's parliament. But a lot is riding on the changes happening and getting the country's economy moving a little faster. Shilpa Kannan, BBC News, on the road from Haryana to Chennai.